as soon as you start the truck, you know, it's really loud. Um, basically, just basically cuts the exhaust off, and they're around twelve to fifteen hundred dollars. Thieves are at it again. It's a problem you hear when you realize your catalytic converter is gone. And not only is it obnoxious to hear, it's also very expensive to fix. Something Kent Nicholson unfortunately knows all too well. He works at a land surveying company and has had up to four stolen right from the office where the trucks are parked. So one time they took two, um, then we literally fixed it. And then they took another one and then they stole it again. He says even though they put up fencing and have cameras, it really doesn't seem to stop them from coming back for more. The thieves in some cases just taking up to minutes to get the job done, depending on their skill level. Police told us that they'd catch people who are doing it. They'd put them in prison for a little bit. And then when they get out, they it just continue up again. So... Calgary police stats show that catalytic converter thefts are up 400 percent between 2019 and 2021. And this despite the Alberta government passing an act that requires dealers to report transactions of the part to law enforcement. Hands are tied, though, when it comes to cash transactions. Though cash transactions aren't allowed, who's to say they aren't still happening? Melissa Hat from Hat Automotive says the problem isn't slowing down and it's something they're seeing more and more of. In the last year or so, we've had quite a few vehicles that have started coming in with their Cadillac converters being cut out. She says it's the metal inside of them that makes them so sought after by thieves, one of those metals being platinum, and they can get anywhere from $100 to $1,000 for them. Tim McAlpine had his stolen right from the family car overnight that was parked in the back, and now he's out just south of $1,000. Freshing would be an, an understatement. I think we had some plans uh, to do, but we've just had to, yeah, to, to pivot on those. So is there anything people can do to protect themselves? Other than parking in a garage or a secure, secure location, there isn't really a whole lot for a vehicle owner to do if they have to park on the street. It's just a risk that they're taking. Uh, but unfortunately, not everybody has the luxury of having a garage, and the thieves know that. Hopefully something happens, but I, I don't know what it's going to be. I think it's you probably have to crack down on the people buying it. Gabby Rios, City News.